What's up everybody? Uh, it's Dave Drakes with The Collective Experience and we are back. We've been gone for a little while, but uh, the channel's getting kicked up again now that we're getting back into our, uh, our proper season here. So where am I, you might be asking yourself. Well, we are at the Josh Greco Invitational uh, Halloween Moto Pit Bike Bash. This is phenomenal because you know I love pit bikes. Uh, if you've seen the other pit bike video that we did last year with uh, Pastrana, with uh, Bearman, with Jared McNeil, AJ Cat, uh, check that out. I'm going to link that uh, below. And maybe I'll have a pop up right here too. Um, yeah, we had an absolute ball, and we're going to continue that fun with this one hosted by privateer superstar Josh Greco. Uh, I'm excited for it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get geared up pretty soon. Okay, so this is our first venture out onto the track and check this out. It's like sandy loam. Is that gonna be good for the pit bike skate? It's gonna be so bad. <laughs> so this is one of the doubles and uh, looking a little sandy for a pit bike. And there's not much of a lip on this thing either. So this might be a Soaking up if this gets rutted and super deep and then into another double into a wall The main cool thing that I like about this layout are the sweepers are going all the way around so To me, that's pretty cool First impressions I'm uh, I'll, I'll wait until I get my practice run in Because I'm curious how the bikes are gonna do in this. This is gonna get rutted up and super deep And there's no way my little 110 is gonna like this I don't think anybody's 110 is going to like it. That's the funny part. But yeah, like, like the tables aren't too big. Uh, I think that's a um, 5 and a 10 footer. And then this double is probably the biggest jump on the track. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. And we've got another tabletop. And this one looks like it's a little bigger. A little more sandy. But still, it should be doable. <laughs> He added in a joker lane for the money race, so it's going to be a three-moto format, and um, those guys and gals are going to have to take this joker lane, a la, you know, Monster Cup, and look how treacherous this thing is. Holy crap. So we've got some serious proper enduro cross logs um, that are pretty steep, and again, bikes don't have that much ground clearance, especially these, uh, these little pit bikes, so this is going to be interesting, especially when you combine that with soft dirt, uh, a tight lane, and a garden full of old tires holy crap check this out this is absolutely insane oh, this track is fmx paradise right yeah yeah cool place bit of a drive but cool place um i feel like we're in the middle of nowhere but it's a cool middle of nowhere i suppose so um pretty rad Josh Becco, how are we feeling today, dude? Good, good. First time being a promoter, not a racer. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> are you amped? I don't know if people realize you're kind of a bit bike specialist, man. Uh, I wouldn't call it specialist. I, I would. When you win every race you enter, it's kind of a specialist. Not every race. There's the one everyone knows about that can't be beat. <laughs> no, we, we already got fast guys already, so uh, it's going to be good racing. Uh, we'll see how the joker lane plays a part. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make it entertaining and yeah. I hit the joker lane yesterday oh. and it was too easy I yeah. know I do enduro cross but it was uh it seemed too easy yeah. so I added a few more logs a few more tires um I don't necessarily care if they make it through easily I want it being a lot slower yeah so um we'll see it'll be entertaining I'm excited man see if they can turn out I want to get your impressions of these two badass pit bikes because they're not the cowies that I told you I was going to bring. Hey, I mean, I think that one's ready to go 200 plus feet. It is early and Katie is, is tired. It, it's oh, funny. Right. <laughs> so uh, if you guys have seen the channel, you've seen Katie before. You helped me with the Jet Lawrence bike, the seat cover. This is my seat cover specialist. I go to her for uh, everything specialist, really. Not just seat covers. I go to your house for everything. But uh, Katie pulled her out of bed, told her, come on, we're going to go do some pit bike racing. As a buddy, she agreed because so she she has to. When your buddy so says let's go ride, you got to ride. So uh, and uh, Katie busted out the boom, the uh, the brand new pitster. What are the specs on this bad boy? Because it looks like it's pretty sick. She's fast as fuck. 
Okay, I probably can't say that. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, I mean, it's just a 110, uh, super fast, super gnarly. I'm um, throwing three backflips on it now. Um, in your yeah, dreams. Going, 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 going for a fourth today. In your dreams, okay. <laughs> FZ Apollo Z20. Now, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't everyone have this bike? <laughs> but uh, pick this thing up for a pretty good deal. And honestly, one of my buddies races Apollo is pretty heavy, and he swears by these bikes. So I picked one up to check out, see how I like it. And so far, I rode it one time, I think, and it's pretty good. Did a carb mod. We got ourselves some brand new meat on the uh, the rear wheel there, and looking to be pretty solid. So I'm going to be doing a fat boy class, <laughs> and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, of course, when you see the 175, you know it's going to be a good day. Katie, predictions for today. How was the track going to turn out? Oh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, as long as these little guys can charge through that deep uh, sand. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty deep. Uh, predictions for how I'm going to finish? Awful. Absolutely awful. Okay, so a lot of confidence there makes you feel good. <laughs>
So we just finished up both uh, both motos of the Fat Boy class 200 plus and the uh, the big wheel. I'm running a 17 front, 14 rear, and so far it's been super, super fun. Uh, track is breaking in, it's getting pretty, pretty rutted, and I'm really understanding how underpowered I am versus some of the other pit bikes that are modded out there, holy crap. Nice. <laughs> uh, motos are done and we had an absolute blast. I think everyone in attendance had fun. Now, sand and pit bikes don't match for me because I'm a little heavy. Katie, I think, had <laughs> a little more fun yeah. than I did. Yeah, a little bit. But um, yeah, absolute blast. So I think we're going to definitely come back to, next, to this one next year unless Josh has a sooner one. Then we'll be there. Uh, overall, track shaped up pretty decently. I think you guys can kind of see a little bit of the ruts that are developing. Uh, it's been not the easiest to navigate, but still, I mean, ridiculously fun. And a shout out to Josh Greco and all the great sponsors that hosted this. Shout out to all the racers that showed up to support. And uh, shout out to FMX Paradise because they gave us a really cool venue. Now